G'day, this is Rodney, that's Tom behind the camera. In this one, I'm going to review the Affogato Drumstick Ice Cream by Peters. It's vegan. Rodney reviews, Rodney reviews things, now. Let's go for a walk. Some people think that vegan ice creams are weird, I mean, yeah, it's really normal to jack off a bull, grab its seam, shove it up a cow's moot, then shove your hand up this bum just to loosen the moot so it can get fertilised and it can produce a baby cow so you can have your precious dairy. Yeah, vegans are weird. The top of the Affogato ice cream is sealed with plastic. Can't see why they have, couldn't use cardboard, but we had to use unrecyclable, hard, bloody plastic. Like, there's not enough plastic in the ocean as it is. Let's take it off. Can't see why they couldn't use cardboard to top the thing. Instead of wasting more plastic, it's going to end up in our oceans where a turtle would probably eat and die. Or the more plastic is in the oceans that we eat, it's going to become microplastics and we're going to drink it, eat it, and shit it out too. Because they had some research done that now half our turds have bright little bits of microplastics in it. More to fuck up the world. Unreal. So you try and do a good thing by having non-cow titty milk and there's something better for the environment. Then the dickheads at Nestle put on plastic on top of it. Unnecessary. You don't need that shit. Could have used cardboard. Drumstick is owned by Peter's Ice Cream. And Peter's Ice Cream is owned by Nestle. Nestle is one of the most evil companies in the world. The CEO of Nestle said that water as a human right is extreme. Water, a human right, extreme. What a fuckwit. Nestle lobbied the World Water Council to change water from a right to a need so they can profit of getting water. Fucking evil. A report filed in 1997 showed that Nestle breached the water pollution limits over 2,000 times in 800 locations. Nestle is one of the largest producers of bottled water and they have been caught selling tap water when they claim it's 100% spring water. Yeah, 100% spring. The seas are tapped in spring. It's been reported that the coca beans produced by Nestle come from child slave plantations, from kids as young as 12. That's when automation would probably come in good handy, wouldn't it? The poor kids can be, go back to being poor kids. Billion dollar corporations exploiting all people in the environment to make more billions of dollars. Anyway, best give this thing a taste. Ugh. Tastes like coffee from poor kids that are 12 years old. Pick the beans. I give the Affogato ice cream one star. I'll see you later. Fuck's sake. Fucking thing. It's like liquid now. How guilty am I of eating this? Fucking made from slaves. Fucking Nestle. Rodney reviewed. Rodney reviewed that. Then.